Welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. So a lot of you have been requesting that I do more colored wigs and this is just in time. Dorsani sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous curly wig that just so happens to be a color number four. This color reminds me of like a milk chocolate color or like a chestnut brown color. It is so, so beautiful. So jumping straight into the details, this is a 13 by four Jerry Curly 28 inch 250% density lace front wig. And this wig is a color number four. The wig is from Dorsony. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes and the direct links down below in the description box. This gorgeous wig comes with four combs and an adjustable strap. So here is an up close of the hairline. The hairline is pre-plucked, but you do have the option of plucking more hairs from the hairline if you choose to do so. The knots are not bleached. The first thing that I'm going to do is bleach the knots on the wig because I do want the wig to look a little bit more natural. And to do that, I'll be using this Kaleida Colors Powder Bleach as well as a 20 volume developer. I bleached the knots off camera and here is how the hairline is looking now. I do want it to be a little bit more gradual, the density, so I am going to do my method of zigzag plucking and parting just to get rid of some of that extra density so that it can look a little bit more natural and have more of a gradual hairline. This is optional as well as the bleaching of the knots are also optional, but if you want your wig to look super natural, I highly, highly, highly suggest taking the extra steps to customize your wig. However, if you are a beginner, you can skip this part altogether. So here is how the hairline looked before bleaching the knots and plucking some hairs from the hairline. And here is our gorgeous and perfect hairline now. Which one do you prefer? Let's chat down below in the comment section. So now I'm just gonna grab two different colors of lace tint. These are custom shades that I did make myself. The first color is the color of my foundation, which I'll be spraying on the under portion of the lace frontal. And the second color is the color of my scalp. And this is a couple of shades lighter than the one that I sprayed along the hairline. And I'm gonna do two different layers of each color of lace tint and then blow dry in between each layer for a custom color match. So to style these beautiful curls, I'll be grabbing a spray bottle of water, my Denman brush, and a detangling comb, as well as this curling gel. Grabbing a section of hair, I'm just gonna fully saturate it with water, then use my detangling comb from the bottoms on upwards to detangle through the section, and then I'm going to apply that curling gel and some more water as well, and then use my Denman brush, and from the bottoms on upwards, I'm gonna get these curls to fully pop.
all done with styling the hair is wet i'm going to allow it to air dry overnight but i do want to show you guys an up close of the hairline the hairline shape is more of an arc and my hairline is more round so i already see that i'm going to have to have baby hairs on this wig because although it has this arc in the front it's also very straight on the side as you can see there's really no curvature so it also does come over your ear you will have to cut your ear out you have to use your scissors and a comb to actually cut and trace your ear so that the ear tabs would properly fit your hairline now I'm just going to cut away the extra lace. So I'm just going to grab a pair of pinking shears and carefully cut right in front of the hairline. I'm going to prep my skin for install by cleaning off my forehead with alcohol and then grabbing scalp protector from Walker Tape and applying that to my scalp. Grabbing the wig and holding it on its side so that I can have a very clear view of the under portion of lace. I'm going to spray a very thin layer of even New York's Wonder Lace Bond to the very edge of the wig. Next, I'm just going to blow dry for a few seconds until it becomes tacky. Grabbing the wig, I'm just gonna place it on my head and just line it up, making sure that the ear tabs are where they need to be, but because these ear tabs are longer than my um, hairline, they're gonna cover my ears because I chose not to cut the ear tabs out. Now I'm just gonna put my headscarf on and allow it to dry and set for about 15 to 20 minutes. Here is how it is looking. Some of that hair did get stuck onto each other. So I'm just going to grab this curl scrunch from Garnier Fructis, apply that to the hairline, and this is going to loosen up those hairs. I'm just going to use this brush to help everything, you know, go into the direction that I want them to go into. And of course, the hairline is a little bit more square than my natural hairline. So I am going to have some baby hairs. So I'm just going to section out where I want these baby hairs to be. And then I am going to use some got to be gel to smooth everything down. And here is the finished look. I love, love, love this color. I think that if you want to change up the color midsummer, if you get this wig now and it's midsummer and you want more of a vibrant balayage look, you can absolutely balayage this hair. It'll be super easy because the base is already done for you. This chocolate brown, chestnut brown, or auburn brown hair color is perfect for people who want to experiment with hair color, but they don't want to go full on blonde. And you can also ombre this hair too as well. And I love the length. I think the length is so perfect. Of course, this is a lace frontal, so you can do like a half up, half down hairstyle, which would be super cute. You can do like a whole up hairstyle and do some baby hairs in the back if you wanted to. This is not a 360, but you can absolutely wear your hair up in a bun um, with a lace front wig. And I love the curl pattern and density as well. This one is definitely one of my favorites for summer. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and the direct link to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So check down below for more information. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I, I.